If you're a car editor and want to level up your edits, this video is for you. Have you ever wondered how AE editors create those flashy car edits? Their edits look out of this world. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll be showing you the five car transitions and effects that you can easily make in CapCut in just a few minutes. Now, as you saw in the preview, we'll be making this cutout transition, which is super easy to do. This gabbit style transition, this wheel transition, smooth match transition, and this logo drop effect. But before we start, I'll quickly show you how to mark beats on your music, since many of you have been asking for it. I'll also make a separate video on this, so don't worry. To do this, download any video you like, now extracted audio. After that, go to beats and start marking when transition happens. In this way, you can able to mark beats and make your transition perfect. I also use this method when I get confused. Now after marking beats, you can delete the video and add your clips. Now you can adjust the clips according to beats. I hope you understand the process. If you're still confused, don't worry, I will make another one. Now get to the main video. So first we're gonna make this cutout video. It's very simple. To do this, take a screenshot of the video and come to Photo Room app. If you don't know what is it, it's a best background remover app till now. But if you ask why you aren't using CapCut cutout feature, well, I hate this shit. As you've seen, it's perfect. If you want this app, you can find it on my Telegram, so must check. Now back to CapCut app and add the PNG. Now match it with clip and add two keys. After that, zoom out the first one like this and done. Also, you can add graphs to make it smooth. Do same process with next one. If it don't cut out the part where you want, you can adjust it here, remove the part you want, and save it. You can see it looks good. To make it more good like AE, add some motions and shake on it.
Now the first transition is done. Next is this wheel transition. To do this, freeze the first frame of the clip and make it overlay. Now go to Mask, select Circle, and invert it. Adjust it on wheel like this. After that, add to keys to first and last and zoom in the first one like this. Now copy this overlay and delete the keys. Go to Mask again, and click this Invert option again. Make it short and add two keys. Same like first transition, zoom out it like this and rotate it a little bit. And here's the result. Now next one, this logo drop effect. To make it, the process will be same. Take a screenshot of last frame of clip, and now come to Adobe Firefly Web. Use AI Object Remover Tool to remove the logo. Use this brush to remove logo and wait few seconds. As you see, it will generate three different frame. Now download whichever you like. Come back to CapCut, add it as an overlay, adjust it. Now go to Mask Tool and select Circle, and cover the logo. Match the overlay color with the video if it visible. Now cover the logo of this whole clip by adding keys one by one. I know it takes a lot of time, but if want to make this wholesome effect on CapCut, then you gotta be do this. After hiding the logo, next step is drop it. You know what to do. Go to Photo Room app and remove the background of logo. Save it and back to CapCut. Now match it with the video, add to keys to the first and last and drag the logo up from the first key. Also add some motions like I said before. Now it's done. Next is this match transition which is easy, let me show you. You need some similar clips like this one for match cut. Just like microwave edit, adjust it with beats first and come to graphs. Use this graph for it. Now copy the clip and reverse it.
also reverse the graph like this. You see it's smooth. Do same with remaining once and you got the match cut transition. Now last one is this Gabbit style transition. To do this, you need to export the video first and import. After that, off the video's audio and add a separate audio. Now add beats where you want the transition and split it out. After splitting the clips, take a screenshot where you want the transition. Now remove its upper side. Add it onto same timeline and match it. Now drag the second clip to overlay and add a white background instead of it. Now do what I do. Add keys like me to both PNG and clip. Take down the PNG like this on second key. Take up the video clip on first key like this. Now on second key, make it visible like this. Now on last key, take down the PNG again, and for clip, make it on full screen. Use these graphs for smooth flow and apply fade in on video. I hope you understand what I say. Now the last transition is done. I hope you love this video and learn something from it. If want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and like to my channel. Also, if you want these car clips, then check the pinned comment. Well, these aren't my clips, so don't mention me. I will see you in the next video.